first half of the financial year has been solid and in line with our expectations. We've continued to grow revenues and return to a net cash position. Continued recent contract awards by existing and new clients reflect the demand for our products and services and the focus on quality and value for money that our team delivers. I'm also delighted that we saw our acquisitive growth strategy begin to bear fruit. The group secured its first NHS Trust award with an £11.3 million contract with the Kingston NHS Trust. This is our first win in the healthcare space and the Matthewson team that we acquired in 2022 were instrumental in winning the competitive tender. We look forward to further wins in this new and exciting growth vertical in the future. Our half-year trading demonstrated the solid performance of the group amidst an ongoing challenging economic environment. Revenue for the half increased by 7% to £26 million. Adjusted EBITDA was 0.79 million, whilst PBT moved an adjusted loss before tax of 0.4 million pounds, which included the increased costs of borrowing in H1. The company remains well capitalised to fund growth in executing its order book through existing resources and operating cash generation. The group saw cash inflow in the first half of the year as it managed the unwind of its working capital investment during FY22. As of 30th of September 2023, over 83% of accrued income at the FY23 year end had been converted to cash. Post period end, we have seen a marked change in some customer behaviours. Local authorities and socialising landlords are experiencing in-year pressure on their capital budgets as a result of continuing increases in building costs and the required spend on government-mandated cladding and insulation projects. These challenges are reflected in the recent report by the Regulator of Social Housing, which found that approximately half of all social landlords intend to reface projects and that the sector expects to see continued pressure until mid-2024. Following their mid-year financial reviews at the end of September, we have been approached by some clients to discuss the phasing of works going forward. While the discussions are ongoing and no decisions have been made, we have taken the prudent view that some of our projects will get rephased with client expenditure moved into our financial year 2025. No contracts have been cancelled and works continue, but we do expect a request to slow down. These clients have multi-year investment plans that we have been helping develop. While no discussion has been made for these future years, we feel it is prudent to assume that some of their investment plans for FY25 will also be delayed given the nature of their fixed investment budgets. Separately, as we raised in August, the unexpected policy decision by the UK government on net nutrient neutrality rules has resulted in certain ward customers deferring investment decisions pending regulatory clarity, a move that we flagged would impact our FY24 performance. As a result of these challenges, we expect our revenues and profit for FY24 to be substantially below market expectations. While the rephasing will benefit trading in H1 FY25, the expected knock-on impact means we believe it is prudent to expect lower revenues and profits in FY25 overall than currently forecast, which is extremely disappointing. With H1 revenues of £26 million, the group's order book stands at £146.2 million, of which, taking a prudent view, we expect approximately 25% is now anticipated to be delivered in H2 FY24. Our turn margins are also expected to fall, as the slowing of project delivery reduces the operational leverage that we have traditionally benefited from.
However, cash conversion continues to remain strong, and we expect to report an improved net cash position at the FY24 year end. Nevertheless, the demand for energy and water solutions remains strong. Since the half year end, the company has continued winning work, including a £12.7 million contract with the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, and a £7.2 million contract to supply a district heating system for a museum, gallery, and leisure centre. Whilst FY24 and FY25 are now anticipated to grow at a slower pace than previously expected, the board remains confident that the longer term opportunity for the business, driven by the social and economic imperatives driving the carbon transition, is unaffected. The underlying longer term drivers for end markets clearly remain robust, with significant opportunities in both energy and water in the UK and in other regions of Spain, the Netherlands, and India. Hey.